In today's 21st century classrooms, students are faced with challenges very different from those experienced by their industrial age parents. Today's students are learning in an information age, an age that is redefining education. For instance, literacy is no longer just about communicating through the written or spoken word. Literacy now encompasses numerous forms of electronic communication that includes cell phones, texting, faxing, instant messaging, emails, and new forms of communication are being added all the time. If today's literacy instruction is to be relevant in this new age of constant change, it needs to be flexible and responsive to the needs of today's students. To complicate matters, students today are not only coming to school at different levels of literacy readiness, they're also coming with different language backgrounds. To respond to the challenges of a relevant literacy curriculum and a diverse student population, many teachers are turning to differentiated instructional strategies. To learn how to best apply differentiation to literacy instruction, we turned to Dr. Carol Ann Tomlinson of the University of Virginia's Curry School of Education. Dr. Tomlinson is one of the foremost experts in differentiation and is the author of numerous books and articles on the subject of differentiated instruction and assessment. Recently, Dr. Tomlinson led a three-day Best Practices Institute in Differentiation and Literacy on the campus of the University of Virginia. With these videos, you will be a virtual participant in this institute that focuses on an approach to literacy instruction that is relevant and responsive to the needs of today's diverse students. You will also attend breakout sessions led by educators experienced in the classroom application of differentiation. In these sessions, you will learn how to use pre-assessment activities to guide you in differentiating your lessons. You'll see how to use online primary resources to individualize your instruction. And you will learn how combining images and text can make subject matter accessible to more students.